Look at God. Hey, what's going on here? There we go. Huh. LOLs. It wasn't working. It wasn't recording. It wasn't recording. Dang, I want a soda. Welcome to the channel. It's your boy, Big Apostle Zay. Mr. Don't Tell Your Pastor. Here with another video. This is going to be a standalone. Bling! Whatever you want to call what I do. Talking, preaching, speaking. Nothing. You know, call it what you want. Call it what you will. Just call me a disciple of Jesus Christ. The way, the truth, and the life. For ye are. Ye are, I am, and we can be together, the light. Amen. I just watched the uh, Dumb Money on Netflix. The one about, uh, um, what's it called? The, um, damn, what was it called? The GameStop stock thing a few years ago. I remember when that happened, so I watched a movie about it. It was super funny. Uh, you know, I look for God in everything I watch and look at pretty much. This is a special presentation um, of EA Sports from the Coliseum in Oakland. And I was like, what a way for God to humble the rich people. Because it says at the end that something like 80% of the hedge funds now look at retail traders to see what to buy with or whatever, whatever. So it, so the, the GameStop situation like reversed everything. So, it, so they went from clowning the... the uh, the rich people went from clowning the nobodies to looking into the nobodies to see what to invest. And I was like, yeah, what a way for God to humble the rich folks. To bring down the haughty and lofty, haughty and lofty looks of men. God uses the lowly things and the foolish things and the despised things. The sky kick. Okay, so... Isaiah is not a sports player. Um, this is the first. Uh, uh, I kicked it out of bounds. What a dork I am. Okay, I don't know. Defense. Coach suggestions. Oh snap! They started me. I don't know. This is a bad idea to play this. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a very bad idea. I should. I was trying to do like a funny, like um. I mean, I, I used to play Madden growing up. I'm not a sports guy. I'm a nerd. You know what I'm saying? Video games. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm a nerd. Like, I don't, uh, so you just keep going? I'm gonna go back to the game. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, fucking hell. I don't know what to do. Who am I? Slide right. Who am I? Audible. Oh, oh, I'm a. F <laughs> what? I'm on offense now. So, yeah, I used to play Madden growing up, but I would always pick. I pick like the Colts. Um, just because John's so associated with Raider football, 
but also because this was where he spent his formative years. Yeah, he grew up over in Daly City with his buddy John Robinson, who would also that was a terrible. No, 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 no. Yeah, but I would always pick, and I would just play offense for like 10 minutes and I just quit. And so I got this. I was like, this would be some good, this is a good game to play with a channel. So, you know, interesting to watch, at least for sports people. But uh, so I started a game so probably last week. I was like, you know what? No, I want to play like my first real game on video. But that was a bad idea because I don't really know what I'm doing. And that's going to shorten the video for sure. But it was still during his time with the Eagles. You know. know we're talking about this before going on air. That you could start to see the light bulb going on for what his career path might entail. And it went on in a big way, didn't it? Because oh. while he was rehabbing his knee, see, I was, I was trying to throw it. This is this is like kind of embarrassing. <laughs> talking about using the foolish things and despised things. I am a fool for playing this, for trying to play it, and for recording it. So. It was there during that time. I think Coach Madden realized his love of football and love for teaching, combining all that together, and that meant being a football coach. So in 1960, began his. And how about this? A fake. <sighs> and this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And okay. That will force a turnover Damn. on downs. So it's kind of killing my vibe that I don't know what I'm doing. The NFC offense. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither I don't, do I didn't even pick. Great starting spot. Is that me? Opportunity to run your full play I didn't move. Options. Controller select. Oh, that's how you switch to offense and shit. Coaching. Okay, yeah, first, that's what we're going to do first is switch to the offense. So that way, can at least, uh, should I get a touchdown or something? So I used to play, I would always play shit like, like that, like A. And to take it a step further, Al Davis became someone who John referred to as his best friend. Yeah, 1967, Brandon. Ooh. Al Davis. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Jesus. Even though know, I had to switch teams. <laughs> but I did. We got a touchdown. We got a touchdown, baby. We got a touchdown. Now, even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. So I was going through uh, uh, Leviticus earlier, and I was looking at um, going through different translations, and it's talking about um, sorry, sorry. All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, quit. This was a didn't go as planned for sure. I want a soda. But, uh, so yeah, I was going through Leviticus earlier and I was talking about offerings. And if it takes, it says, uh, if you take an offering from the, uh, let's see. This is where we get serious, guys. Uh, and if he, this is Leviticus 1 and 14, and if he bring his gift, a burnt offering to Jesus of birds, then shall he bring his gift of doves or pigeons. So that's the Alpha and Omega Bible translation. But then if you go to, this is the C it Christian Standard, it says turtle doves, and uh, the ESV says turtle doves, and then let's go to KJV. Turtle doves. But anyway, I think it's in the and it's in the the Septuagint, which is the Greek Bible, or the Greek translation, like the original Greek, something like that. You might have to look that up on your own. But uh, it says doves, right? I sound all retarded. Yeah, yeah, the Septuagint, and it says doves. So multiple ones say doves, multiple ones say turtle doves. I'm just thinking, how do you get that wrong? And I think in the original Hebrew, this one, 
I say 13? Priest, no. Lay them or of fowls. Turtle doves. Yeah, in the Hebrew it says turtle doves. And I think over here, what is this? Burn offering. Turtle doves. So, like, it looks like all the original Hebrew translate and Greek translations. No, original Hebrew translations say doves. It says turtle doves. But some say doves. So, I'm just trying to figure out how do you. How do we confuse those things? You know what I mean? How do you look at doves and say turtle doves? Or how do you look at turtle doves and change it to doves? And it's like, gee, it's like this Christian community is so divided. You know what I mean? Even all the way down to words like doves versus turtle doves. So it's like, how can we as a whole make believers? You know what I mean? But well, that's all I'm trying to do is make believers of Christ Jesus. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry that the game part was stupid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, come back and see me in the name of Jesus.